Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bleed World, and today we're going to be looking at some of the issues that I have with Battlefield 4. Now, if you expect me to dive in and start having a go at the netcode and the rubber banding, well, to be honest, these aren't really a huge problem for me. I play on PS4, and usually I find if you can join a decent server, the netcode issues aren't that bad. Or maybe I just don't care as much, I'm not sure. One thing I will point out before we start this video though, is that I'm a massive fan of this game. The only reason I'm making this video is that I hope someone at DICE might be watching and they might address some of the things that frustrate me. All things considered though, I think Battlefield 4 is a great game and I have a lot of fun playing it. But I will admit, it's not perfect, so these are my top 5 least favourite things about Battlefield 4. I think the problem with any game that has a lot of weapons is that quite often some of the weapons are going to be very similar to other weapons. BF4 has a ton of different weapons, and sure, some of them are pretty unique, but the vast majority are only a little bit different from everything else. If DICE could bring back some unique and interesting weapons in future DLCs, then I'm sure this would shake things up a fair bit. The AN-94 and the G3A3 from Battlefield 3 spring to mind because they were statistically very different from everything else. Another issue is that some weapons are just straight up better than other weapons in pretty much every single category. The Gull Magnum versus the M40A5 is a good example of this. There's little or no reason to use the M40A5 anymore because the Gull is pretty much better in every way that counts. So I wouldn't be opposed to a little rearrangement of stats to sort this out. Now I really don't like some assignments, especially when they stop you from playing the game the way you want to play it. I don't have a problem with assignments that challenge you, but when you have to do something that isn't something anyone would do in regular gameplay, I get really frustrated. I can understand difficult or weird assignments to unlock camos or dog tags, but I don't think they should ask you to complete stupid tasks to unlock a weapon. I mean, who really wants to spend the time to get 50 repair ribbons to get the UMP9? It's just ridiculous. And also, what's with those three assignments at the end of the single player campaign? I mean, that was honestly a waste of an hour of my life going back and replaying that last mission two more times with all of those cutscenes just so I could get the other guns. So I've already made a video on this topic before and as you guys may already know, I'm not a big fan of this stat because it has no bearing on the actual skill of a player whatsoever. The skill stat rewards people who play the Assault class in close quarters and penalises people who play Recon. It also rewards people who play Tedium and Conquest, because if you play Obliteration or Rush, your skill will drop like a stone. The only way to consistently have a good skill stat is to basically play the game like Call of Duty, and if I wanted to play aggressive close quarters all the time, I wouldn't play BF4. There are so many things you can do in this game, and it's just stupid that the most prominent recorded stat takes into account so little of it. Semi-auto shotguns are a crutch for new players, and honestly, I'm sure any of you watching this video who have ever played a round of TDM would know how frustrating they are. I understand shotguns have their place in-game, and I realise that they're only useful on some maps, but when a weapon is designed in such a way that a beginner can pick it up and take out veteran players with relative ease, you know something's wrong. There's been many times when I've been playing a TDM round, and the only people able to take me out are the guys running around with semi-auto shotguns. If they were to give us shotgun free servers or something, that would at least be a start. I spotted enemy machine gun. And of all the things that I don't like in Battlefield 4, this is by far the worst. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about when I say that more often than not when you join a server, you can find yourself on a team of noobs facing an enemy team stacked full of shit buckets. Very rarely you may end up on the winning team, but 9 times out of 10, it's a case of you filling the place of someone who has already rage quit the game. The round you see in the background here is a perfect example of exactly what I'm talking about. It's not because I'm playing well that I'm not getting killed in this round, it's because the players on my team are just so much better than the guys we're facing, and the other team are all dropping out of the match. I'm not exactly sure how DICE would go about fixing this, but if their matchmaking has got anything to do with their skill stat, then that kind of gives you an idea of why it doesn't work so well. But anyway guys, let me know what you think about all of this. If you agree with anything I've pointed out in this video, then please do us all a favour and share this video on Twitter or Facebook so that we can get the word out to the people who can actually make a difference. I'm sure you guys wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't love the game as well. So let's all try and stay positive and help DICE make the game the best game it can be. But anyway guys, that's it. And as always, if you like what you see, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. 
And if you haven't already, please check out all my other Battlefield 4 videos. I've got them all linked in a playlist in the description below. And if you have any suggestions for weapons or loadouts that you'd like me to take a look at in future episodes on this channel, then let me know in the comments of this video or send me a tweet on Twitter at BillyEatWorld. But anyway guys, until next time, see you later and have a good one.